Salam Deston, hi friends, welcome to Learning Tajik with Achilles, where we teach Tajik and sometimes talk about the Tajik culture. My name is Hussein, and in this video, we'll read some Rubaiyats from Ibn Sina and Omar Hayam, and also we'll read a saying from uh, Jaloliddin Rumi. They are well known not only in Central Asia or uh, Persian speaking countries, they are also well known in the Western world. But first, what is Rubaiyat? Rubaiyat means a group of four lines in a poem. Okay, we'll start with Omar Khayyam first. Let me tell you a little bit about him, and after that, we'll read his uh, Rubai in Tajik, and after that, we'll read in English, and then I will explain the meaning of that Rubai. Omar Khayyam was born on May 18th in the trading city of Nishapur in what today is known as Iran in the year 1048. Omar Khayyam was a Persian astronomer, writer, poet, and mathematician renowned in Iran for his scientific achievements. The Rubaiyat of Amar Khayyam is a lyric poem in quatrains, which means a group of four lines in a poem. Rather than telling a story with characters, a lyric poem presents the deep feelings and emotions of the poet on subjects such as life, death, love, and religion. So now let's read his uh, Rubai in Tajik. Qone bayak ustogon chukar gasbudan, behzon ki tufayli noni kasbudan, banoni jevini khesh hakko ki khushast, and now I will read it in English. To wisely live your life, you don't need to know much. Just remember two main rules for the beginning. You better starve than eat whatever. And better be alone than with whoever. Alright, so does the poet urge us to abstain from food? No, I don't think so. I think what he's trying to say here is to be more selective in food which is generally very relevant for us people of the 21st century, better to starve than to eat junk food. In food and in choice of friends, you need to be choosy. Then you will not have serious illnesses and people who are next to you will not betray you in difficult times. All right, one more thing to add to this Rubaiyat. When I was at school more than 10 years ago, uh, we used to read the part with Z-on, uh, like Z-on, not Zon, or another part like Oluda, uh, we used to read it like ki oluda, but now no more e. You just read like son and koluda, which makes it easier. Why should you read e when there is no e? So it's much easier. Omar Khayyam in Tajikistan, we call him Umar Khayyam, and you can meet a person whose first name is Umar or Khayyam. So both of these names we use as a first name, Umar and Khayyam. Alright, the next one is Rumi. In Tajik, his full name is Mavlono Jaloliddini Rumi. Rumi was born on September 30th in 1207 in Balkh province, now in Afghanistan. The greatest Sufi mystic and poet in the Persian language, famous for his lyrics and for his didactic epic Masnavi Manavi, in English spiritual couplets, which widely influenced mystical thought and literature throughout the Muslim world. Okay, now he's saying in Tajik. Сухан хойт он робалан кунет на овози худро, борон аст на раду барх кул хоро ме сапзонат. Now I will read it in English. Rise your words, not voice. It is rain that grows flowers, not thunder. It means one should not rise voice or use bad words, no matter how tense the situation is. Instead, rise the impact of your words, let them have a meaning. Let them reflect you so that it fills up others' hearts uh, with love, not the hatred. So you don't have to be loud to get other person to listen to you. And the words from this saying, we use this in our daily conversation in Tajik. But the first one, the Rubaiyat from Omar Khayyam, like the words Kone or Kolda, uh, Kargas, we don't use these words in our daily conversation. But the, the second one, the saying, uh, we use them in our daily conversation. And the last one is Ibn Sina. In the West, he is known as Avicenna. In Tajik, we call him Abu Ali ibn Sino. He was born in the year 980 during what's known as the Golden Age of Muslim civilization. Ibn Sina grew up in Afshana, a village near Bukhara in present-day Uzbekistan. And now I will read his Rubai in Tajik. Asqari gili siyoh to avji zuhal, kardam hama mushkiloti geti rohal, berun jastam zikhaydi har makru hiyal, har band kushodashut magarbandi ajal. And now, in English, from the depth of the black earth up to the Saturn's apogee, all the problems of the universe have been solved by me. I have escaped from the cause of snares and deceits. 
I have unraveled all knots except the knot of death. Death is the destination we all share. No matter how smart, cool or rich you are, no one has ever escaped death. And probably that's the message in Ibn Sina's Rubai. All right, that's it for today. And this is my understanding of these Rubaiyats and this saying. If you have something else to share, or if you know some other Rubaiyats, you can share in the comments. And I also want to thank my sister for helping me to understand some of the words because I didn't know all of them. So thank you so much for watching these videos and see you next week in the next video. Goodbye.